Aloha, Internet people. Welcome to Doc Rock Tips. I am Doc Rock. And no, I'm not going to sing the intro right now. The voice is a little <clears throat> for Clint. Anyway, as you know, recently I'm cracking out on Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live is my favorite live streaming software. It allows you to do some incredible things. All the stream labs are OPS. What? OBS, but without... Never mind. <laughs> Without the headaches. You thought I was going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Anyway, we're going to jump into something that has been coming up a lot over in the Facebook group for Ecamm Live. That is the question of how to do presentations like such. Show your PowerPoints or your keynotes or whatever, but do them in a matter where you have a little bit cool looking overlay as opposed to the traditional way. To the traditional way. I swear to you, English is not a second language, but yes, it is. Anyway, let's dive right in and let's show you how this is done. Now, traditionally, whenever you see a presentation using something like Ecamm Live, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see your slides, and as your slides come up, you just click on the little arrow keys, you go over to your next point, you click the arrow key, you go to your next point, a little uh, quote from the old boss, Mr. Jobs, you go over here, kick another point, so on. Now, if you happen to watch a lot of live streams, you will have noticed in some of the cooler, swaggier live streams, like those done by Ms. Loria over at Livestream Pros, hers look a little bit more like this. Now, hey, so I'm going to show you how to get this done in Keynote, okay? Now, this also will apply to PowerPoint. PowerPoint actually has a leg up in this situation, and I hate saying that, but... This will work in PowerPoint. This will work in Keynote. As a matter of fact, it'll work in just about any piece of software. It just requires a little planning. Now, I'm going to take you through how to get this done. So stick around and welcome to Doc Rock Tips. Okay, don't want to waste one second of your time. We're going to dive right in. Once again, I want to show you that wasn't a static image. This is legit. I'm going to go ahead and click this scene right here. This is the call out. Now, if I click here, boom, next slide. Oh, one more slide and bam, bada boom, last slide. Okay, see, I only made a shorty just to show you that it could be done. I wanted this to look something like the way they do on live stream pros. And again, this comment comes up over and over and over again over in the Ecamm Live Facebook group. If you're an Ecamm Live user and you're not in the Facebook group, you're missing out on a fantastic resource of people just working together to get this done. Now, if you aren't using Ecamm Live, make sure you check the link in the description. Jump in. Uh, this it is hot. Like, it, it's really the hot. I, I don't even want to talk about it yet. We'll save that for the end. Let me show you how this is done. Okay. What I need to do first is go over here into demo mode. So let's jump you over to demo mode. Okay, here we are in demo mode. You should be seeing my Ecamm live screen. Now again, traditional method looks something like this, where you have your little pip and you're here. You can place yourself wherever you want. You can uh, make yourself a little cycle if you want to be a cycle and be like, you know, anything you need. But normally what happens is you have a little heads up display here. It allows you to jump to your slides. You hit the arrow keys and you move on. Well, again, like I said, in the live stream pros, theirs is a little bit more swanky like this. And what you're looking at here is I cut a hole in this graphic and I aligned my window up nicely. Oh, let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, got it. And then now I am just controlling keynote here and the separate window. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this real quick. So let me just jump over here and get into this screen share. I'm gonna come out of demo mode so you can see a little bit bigger. Uh, let's jump out of demo mode real quick and jump on over to keynote. So here we are in keynote. Basically all this is, is really simple. I created a widescreen template, okay? So that's where you come down to new and you create a brand new template. Um, I have this locked onto this screen for now. We won't adjust that. I have another video to show you how to do that. I'll leave it up in the cards. 
What I did for my measurements is I have, this is a graphic of an iMac. Okay, this graphic of the iMac has a hole in it. As you can see, there's nothing in the center of that iMac. Let's go ahead and put that back. In order to set up so that it works perfectly, I would say, is when you create a brand new shape, what you wanna do is have it drop in and come over to your arrange tab and the key is it has to be 16 by nine. I know that 720 by 405 is a 16 by nine shaped window. I just happen to know that. You can do the math yourself, okay? And if I do that, wait, shouldn't have to do that. Let's lock the constrained proportions and then pull it and you'll see it's a perfect 16 by nine size box, okay? So when I created this, this was a duplicate. Actually, let's go back real quick. This was a duplication of that. I just turned this 90 degrees. This is where your camera is going to ride. Now, if for some reason you don't want your camera to fit, you know, in a, in a tall box, and maybe you need to hide the messy room, you can always just create your shape and do a standard four by three. So let's go to like 400 by 300. And you can have a four by three box. And the key to this is just when you put it over to wherever you want your camera to show up, wherever you want your picture in picture to show up, you're going to save it. Now you're going to export this as an image and in the image drop down, what's going to be key as you export this, hold on. Let me make sure that keynote can see what we're working on. It seems like it's missing for a second. Bam. Here we go. As you export this image here, you want to select PNG and then you want to make sure you have it checked for safe, transparent backgrounds. Now what's going to happen is it's going to cut this out and it's going to save it. The current file I have right now, uh, this blue background is going to show where the monitor is. So what we're going to want to do is duplicate this box real quick, turn it back to zero. I want to line it up with my monitor or whatever frame that you generated for yourself. Okay. I'm going to take this and arrange, send it all the way to the back. Okay. I'm going to temporarily hide this guy. I have it on the front. Actually, hold on one second. I need to undo that. I need to bring the iMac to the front. Sorry. 12 seconds later. Uh, bring the iMac to the front and then when I kick on this I want to use this to cut a hole in the blue background So I'm going to select that and the blue background and I'm going to trap a hole in it Okay, now if I take the blue background and stick it all the way to the back You end up with a basically a transparent PNG when I open this window What you see here is this is a PNG? Okay, now there are the occasion where you save it in, in the keynote and it just doesn't come out correctly, okay? So what you're gonna do in that particular case is open it in preview. If you look up in this window here, I'm using the preview app right now. You would click on this markup tool, grab the magic wand, and then just select until it turns pink and then press delete. And now you have a hole. You can save that PNG. So if for whatever reason you save it as a JPEG, you miss your holes, you can cut the holes out after. Anyway, let's get back over to Ecamm. Here we are in demo mode. You can see that now I have my graphic brought in. Okay. So the way I want to create this is I want to start a brand new scene. Okay. And then I'm going to set that scene to screen share. Okay. I'm going to take this graphic and drag it in and make sure that it becomes my overlay. Okay. I'm going to set this application to keynote and I'm going to select my, my keynote window. As you can see right now, my keynote window is a little too big. So I'm going to turn off zoom the application window. Okay. And then what we're going to have to do over here in keynote is just move this guy around until we get it right about where we want it. And then we're going to grab the corner 
and we're going to zoom it up until we have the end missing. We're going to move the window again until we have it locked into place. Okay. Now we're going to take the camera here on the pip. We're going to convert it to tall. We're going to place it right up here in the corner and we're going to drag it down to the bottom and Wyola is there. Okay. So now this keynote window works. And as I go through my slides, you see it just works. It's not very hard. It's very simple to do. Okay. So it's very simple. You can draw anything you want. You can actually download a 16 by nine picture from the internet that already has a frame in it. And if the, again, that window isn't exactly cut out, jump into preview or in Photoshop, cut the area out, make sure it becomes transparent, save it as a 24 bit transparent PNG. And then you can use that as an overlay. And the key to this is new scene, start with screen sharing, put your graphic in, take what you want to show up in that window and adjust it to fit. You are going to have to move it around the screen. It's just the way this works for now until we get an update that allows us to adjust our pip sizes. But quick and dirty, it absolutely works. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, make sure you drop them in the bottom so that way I can get to you and I can answer them. Again, Ecamm Live is the software that I'm using to do these screen captures as well as live. And you may see this demonstration again on the live. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. The closer you follow, the closer you listen to that bell, you won't miss out when I come up with something great. Now, Ecamm community, listen up. If you guys have questions, especially technical stuff, or you have ideas for tutorials you want to see, make sure you drop that in there too, or send me an email at doc at docrocktips.com and I'll do what I can to get it out there for you. Cause I'm so in love with this software. It's quite amazing. And I just love doing these things for you guys. So I got to go. I see you soon. Aloha. Take care. Peace out. Eight town stump. Yeah. Okay.